while back, Big Pens brought out a new range, just for women. Because um, apparently we've not been able to cope with pens so far, so they made them narrower. They made them pastel and dearer. And there's some fantastic reviews on uh, Amazon if you want to go and have a look. Really <laughs> funny ones. But before I read them, this was my reaction. <clears throat> it's in two parts. I send this letter in writing so neat to say my new pen makes my life complete. Before, I didn't know how to think. But now I have a pen that's slim, pastel and pink. Thoughts of cute, fluffy bunnies fill my brain. And having an opinion is too much of a pain. Doing a shopping list is no longer a chore, and my dainty fingers never get sore. <laughs> Every letter I now has a heart on top. <laughs> I draw a pretty flower instead of a full stop. <laughs> Sir, you've made my life complete with this pick for her. Now I'm demure, and to men always defer. My world is filled with glittery magic. Thank you, kissy kiss, from a grateful chick. All this. Do you really think we're so thick, Mr. Bick, as to fall for this marketing trick? Designing a pen for a lady? It's misogynistic and fucking crazy. Do you really think that we're so daft as to say that we would need a narrower shaft? <laughs> Charge twice as much for a pen because it's pink? Well, let me tell you just what I think. Your wife should say that you make her sick. And that her hands are too small to hold your dick. <laughs> and then tell you exactly where to stick your pink chip sticks, Mr. Big. You thick prick. <laughs> <laughs>